Hi guys, how are you? I hope that you are all doing well. Let me know down in the comments below, have you guys finished your Christmas shopping yet? I am proud to say I am completely done other than stocking stuffers. I have to do stocking stuffers. But let me know down in the comments below if you guys are done with your Christmas shopping. Grab yourself a cup of coffee. We're gonna be a little bit chatty today. It's just the mood that we're in. My name is Melissa. If you are new here, thank you so much for stopping by. If you like today's video, please consider subscribing and hitting the thumbs up down down below. So now let's talk about what today's video is all about. We are doing a battle of the bags video. It's been quite a while since I've done a battle of the bags video, but this one's a little bit different because we are battling out two of the same bags. So I have a Bottega Veneta padded cassette bag without the chain strap in the beautiful parakeet green. And I have the Bottega Veneta, wait for it, you're gonna hear. She comes in very, very loud. She's not quiet at all. We have the Bottega Veneta suede bag in this beautiful, um, I think it's called almond suede color. And then it's got the chunky gold chain. First up, we're gonna do a quick little overview of each of the bags. This is again in the parakeet green. This is in the leather version. It's very, very soft and squishy and supple. This does come in lots of different colors. So if green is not your color of choice, you can pick a purple or a pink or they have neutrals, they have tans and beiges and blacks and all the colors you could possibly think of in this beautiful um, bag. I love the style of this bag. It doesn't have any logos, which is what I really, really appreciate about it. It's got the puffy quilting all the way around. So you can see on the top, the side, the back, the whole thing is completely quilted. The uh, opening is a little bit strange. You have to pull down and lift up. And then it's got this little triangle here, which is where you put this little circle inside of. Again, with the beautiful puffy leather here, you can see this little indentation that's from my items that I have inside of there. So it does leave an indentation and then it kind of puffs back out over time. So I've got her full, but she's just a big open pocket. And then she does have one zipper compartment inside, but there is not a lining inside of this bag. So if you have a bobby pin or something, it can fall out through the puffy parts, the little quilting, but I haven't ever experienced that. So I'm not sure. Um, I've heard other people say that theirs have fallen out, but I've never experienced that. Now let's go over the Bottega Veneta Padded Cassette in suede with the chain strap. What a mouthful. So I chose mine in the suede material because I wanted it to be very different than the other one. I don't typically buy two of the same bags and that's why I wanted them to be very, very different. So this one is a in the color almond, I believe. Um, which is very different than the bright, bold color. It's got the gold strap, uh, chain strap here, which is very, very substantial. It's very heavy. And then it doesn't have any back pocket. It does have the quilting all the way around. This one is not quite as puffy as the other one. And then it has the same opening here where you pull down and you lift up. This is the color of the bag that it's supposed to be. And this is the color that it is. So you can see that mine is a little bit dirty. That happens over time with suede. And then the interior is the same as the green one. It doesn't have a lining and it's got one zip pocket here. And then it does have a Bottega Veneta stamp inside of there. And it says made in Italy. Now that we have done an overview of each of these bags, let's go over the pros of each bag. So I'm gonna start with my padded cassette in the um, the original version without the chain strap. This is very, very lightweight. It's very soft. It The leather feels like it would scratch easily, but it absolutely does not. I don't have any scratches on mine at all. The strap is adjustable, but it is not removable. It has five different adjustments on them, but the adjustments are actually spaced pretty far. So it fits a wide range of body types and shapes. I can actually adjust this bag so it fits on the short shoulder and cross body, which I absolutely love. It's very comfortable because it has the thicker strap. It doesn't ever dig into my shoulder at all. And it is a very nice fit. I will pop up photos for you guys to see um, on the body. So I don't feel like it's too big or too bulky but it's definitely not too small and makes, I feel like a small bag makes you look 
a little bit unproportioned and I feel like a bag that's a little bit too big makes you feel a little bit unproportioned. That might just be my thoughts, but that's how I feel. And this bag for me is a very good size and proportion. Now let's talk about the pros of this bag. First of all, this almond color is absolutely stunning. I love it. It goes with my warmer tones so beautifully. Excuse me guys, if you guys hear my throat, it's doing a little something funny today. So I got my coffee right here. So we're, ooh, look how pretty. So we're, we're working on uh, the, the scratchy, itchy throat situation. But if you guys hear my voice go out, that's why. Um, it, but this bag is absolutely stunning. It is beautiful. And that is the only pro I have about this bag. Now that we've gone over all of the pros on both of these bags, let's go over some cons. So a con about this particular bag for me, and I think it's just mine. I don't think it's a, a Bottega Veneta Pata Cassette bag situation. This little strap here doesn't stay up, so it always falls down. You can see it moves very, very easily. Um, so it causes this to flare out, which I don't like. I just need to take mine in. I'm sure that they would fix that. They probably would fix it for free. Um, that's definitely a con for me though, because long-term I don't want this to uh, cause my leather to have any type of wear um, where it flips out and there's nothing I can do about it. So that is one con and I only have one more. And that's the fact that it doesn't fit very much. It looks like it would fit a ton because it looks like a nice size bag. It doesn't fit very much at all and I will go over what fits inside here in a few minutes. Now let's go over cons of my suede with chain strap. Now let's go over the cons of this beautiful bag here. As you guys can tell, these are the same bags but so far there's been quite a few differences as far as pros and cons go. So cons for me is how heavy this chain is. It is very, very heavy just holding it up like this after about one minute or two minutes, it definitely starts to fill it in your muscle. And that's because this bag is pretty hefty. It's very heavy. Now, another con is when you're wearing this bag with the chain, if you wear it cross body, it crosses right across your collarbone right here. And that hurts over time. It almost feels like it's going to leave a bruise. And when I wore this bag, I wore it around Target and I decided to carry it the whole time. Um, crossbody just so I can see how it would feel and that way I can do a proper review for you guys and the next day my collarbone was actually sore from wearing this and that was just around Target I was probably in there for maybe 45 minutes to an hour now another con for me is when you carry this bag top handle same situation it's very very heavy it's hard to hold after a while you just want to put it down but because it's suede you don't want to put it down because you don't want it to get dirty on the bottom. So lots of, of babying this bag. I pretty much only wear this bag for girls days out. Um, hubby takes me out on a date or for Instagram photos. So this is not a practical bag at all. And then of course the same situation as the other one. It doesn't fit very much inside of here. And believe this bag retails for over $5,000 if you buy it brand new. So the cost is definitely a con for me. Now that we are done with the pros and cons, let's go over what fits inside. So I have stuffed this bag pretty full. I will share with you guys everything that I have inside. And then I'll share with you guys what I typically carry inside. So inside of here, as you can see, it's pretty full inside of there. Let me do a close up for you guys. You can fit a little bit of more stuff if you want to. I have my sunglasses in here. These are just my Ray-Ban sunglasses. I did take them out of the case. The case can fit in here if you have less in there and I will show you guys that in a little bit. Next up, I have my card holder. This is something that I just carry gift cards and my least used credit cards and debit cards inside of there. Then I have a pack of gum in here. Then I've got my key clay, which has my main debit card, my main credit card, and um, a, my ID and a little bit of cash with my house keys. And then I have my headphones in here. So very little, that's all that I have inside of here. Now, when I typically carry this bag, I will carry my key clay. This goes with me everywhere. It has all of my main cards and necessities. Then I almost always carry my headphones because if I'm out and about and I want to start editing, then I can edit with my headphones without everybody hearing what I'm doing. 
and then I will carry my phone inside of here and then I carry my sunglasses inside of their case because I don't like to carry these are prescription and I only buy one pair of sunglasses pretty much every two years I would say so I don't like to carry them not in their case so as you can see in here this is where back here is where I put my phone and then my sunglasses will fit right on top of my phone and then it does close pretty easily and then usually I'll put in this little corner here Let's see if I can show you guys this is where I will put my lipstick and my chapstick inside of there. I'm not sure why I don't have my lipstick and chapstick out here, but that is everything that I carry inside of the bag. It's everything that I need. Now I can fit my card case inside of here with the same items, my phone, my, um, my phone, my headphones, my sunglasses, but I don't find that I need to and it just makes it a tighter fit and it's more annoying to get in and out of. So I don't tend to carry that one unless I'm going out shopping and I want to carry my gift cards on me. Now that you guys have heard all of my thoughts about these bags, I want to tell you guys which one of these bags I recommend, if any. So first we're going to start with my pad cassette without the chain. This bag I absolutely recommend. I love it to pieces. It's one of my favorite bags. I know it doesn't fit a ton, but for me, the size of it, the shape of it, the fact that there's hardly any logos, the com how comfortable it is. Sorry guys, this chain is being a pain. Um, the fact that there isn't any logos, I love how I can wear it casually. I could dress it up. I just really, really love this bag. Even at the price that it is, I do recommend this bag, but if it's above your price point, definitely check out the resale market because this bag you can get for like $2,000 cheaper on the resale market because it is not a very popular style, which I'm not really sure why, but people aren't loving the Bottega Veneta bags these days. I am a huge fan, absolutely love this bag, highly recommend it, one of my top favorite bags in my collection. Do I recommend this bag? Uh, absolutely not. No, I do not recommend this bag at all. This bag is not practical. It's not very versatile. It's not an everyday bag. You can hardly use this. You might be able to take it out to dinner or some Instagram photos, but I mean, for over $5,000, is it worth $5,000 to take some Instagram photos? Absolutely not. Now, what I will say, if you love the style of this bag, if it brings you joy, if it makes you happy, if it makes you excited, then I say go for it. Get it anyways. I would get it in the leather version. Just know that it's not an everyday bag. I don't plan on getting rid of mine. I love it for the Instagram photos. I love it for date night. I love to take it out to dinner. I love what it does to an outfit. It really is a statement piece but it's heavy. My, my arm is sore right now and it's probably going to be sore tomorrow um, just from holding this bag up like this. So it's not practical at all. So if you go into it knowing that this is not a practical bag and it's not going to be a bag that you can use every single day, then I say go for it. But do I, can I recommend it? I absolutely cannot. I cannot recommend a bag to you guys that I feel is not practical and it's not good for everyday use and it's not good even for simple things like running into Target, it's just not a good bag for that. It's definitely a statement bag. It's a fashion bag. It's something that you wear for photos. It's something you wear for events, but it's not a bag that you would carry in your everyday life. Let me know your guys' thoughts on these bags. If you own either one of these bags, let me know how you feel about them down in the comments below. I really can't wrap my head around the fact that more people don't love Bottega Veneta. Bottega Veneta is one of my favorite luxury fashion houses. I love their colors and I love the fact that they don't have logos everywhere and their styles are very, very unique to the brand. I just, I'm, I'm a huge fan. So I would love to know your guys' thoughts on the brand in general. Do you guys like the brand or are you a no thank you, Bottega Veneta is not for me. If you guys liked today's video and you found it useful or helpful, please give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe. It really does help me out a lot. But until next time, I'm going to have a video linked here and a video linked here. Bye, guys.